Hi guys, so today I wanted to show you how witchcraft does not have to be expensive. So many times, look my lipstick's coming off, so many times when uh, I talk to somebody who wants to do witchcraft, they're like, I really don't have the money for that. But the truth is, a walk in the woods and a trip to Dollar Store can start you on your witchy way. Um, dollar Store first and I'll show you these hacks now and then we're gonna take a walk in the woods and I'll show you some really cool stuff that you can gather along the way free walking through the woods getting ready to do your first spell work it's really awesome and walking through the woods always puts me in touch with nature and makes me feel like so much more witchy so much more magical because the woods are magical but so's dollar store so come on come with me Hi everybody, it's PJ and today we're doing dollar store witchy hacks. So, one of the first things you need to know about it is if you're in the dollar store you can get candles. Lots of candles for any spells you might want to work out. And a lot of them have things in them like sandalwood or lime like different kinds of things that's vanilla even you can use all these things but here's the really cool stuff is down here because they have all of these no i think they're called notivas but they're really helpful and then all your white candles that you can use for from dollar store right down here all these white candles that you can use for different spells Yep. Now, when I do all kinds of spell work, I like to use a lot of different things in this aisle. I can pick up any kind of twine or thread. I can pick up different kinds of writing implements or the little carvers, the echo knives right there. Um, there's so many different things you can use right here in Dollar Store for a buck to do spell work. And you know, there's so many different kinds of like papers and whatnot that you can use for spells that you burn or that um, if you're writing something and wrapping it up, there's natural fibers here. So there's a lot of cool stuff that you can use in Dollar Store for spells. Let me show you some more. I particularly like these kind of things because you can build things out of them like a little house. You can, like this is a natural fiber, and you can use this for binds, for bindings. And then you can always dress it up. The more you put into a spell or the things that you're working with, there's paints, there's wooden things, there's all different kinds of ribbons and so much to use for spell work. Okay, we also have all kinds of incense, like nonchampa for a buck. Um, let me see what we got there. That's vanilla. Now they used to have the money house blessings and some, they you see they're right here, but they're empty right now. But the money house blessings are really cool because they're already charged. So that's like something else. And there's your little holder down there and you're talking a dollar. This is for a dollar that you can have incense to use as your air. Then for instance, here's a hammer, right? So a spell that I used to use, tell people to use for like men that like to wander is you take their old shoes and you take a hammer and you nail their shoes under the house, believe it or not, with big long nails, big long nails. They have nails here, right there, the nails. They have everything you could want for a spell in here. You could do spell work right out of the dollar store. Glues, you can use glues for things and yeah, and then you nail their slippers or shoes to the basement floor or you can nail them underneath the house you just nail them like upside down underneath the house and that keeps his feet right where you want it mm -hmm. you get ready to start collecting stuff for your spell work you can use things like these to house them lids with lids I actually have like two suitcases with all my stuff in it but they have so much that you can use to collect all the things you need and keep them safe in your home and yeah 
you do. Glue guns are helpful for making things for your altar. There's all kinds of like sewing things and needles. And I have a couple spells that include needles. So this also would be helpful for doing spells from the dollar store. Yup. <laughs> And then, of course, the last thing you want to do is you want to record what you do. Getting these quick notebooks, or I actually like these better, the prettier ones that I can do, and record what you've done and how it worked on what, on what, like, um, moon and whatnot. These little books are fabulous for keeping, like, all your stuff together. And they're $2, and you can't beat that. So it's not expensive to be a Here's another great hack. One of the coolest things you can get is an almanac. I have one at home and it gives you ideas. It has moon phases and stuff in it and it gives you real ideas on how you can use this to help in planning your spell work. So I can always get one at the dollar store every year. Also like the party area has all kinds of things. Look, I mean, you've got Mardi Gras beads, beads for beads. You've got ribbons, you've got strings, ribbons, candles, crepe paper. I mean, so much of spell work has to do with, I don't know, crafting in your own way, how you want to do it. You've got some stones, you've got different candles again. I mean, it's just like, it's just pretty awesome, kind of the stuff you can get for a dollar. Look at this, for a dollar. To start little fires, to do all kinds of things for your spells. Even tobacco, you can even get, see they have cigar tobacco down here. You can even get tobacco for all your voodoo spells because so many times tobacco is used in sacrifices in voodoo. So you can even do that. So any spell you do, you can use any kind of tools. You don't have to go to a witchy shop and spend a ton of money. All this stuff you get like for nothing, for nothing, like a couple dollars and you can have a really great spell. You just need the know-how and the intention and the manifestation and you've got it. All right guys, bye.